Recently in Unity, we've been talking about language and how language is changing. When I first came to Unity back in 2002, God was still called Father and He. There was still this feeling of God as a masculine energy because it was tradition, it was culture, it was the word that everybody used. And so no one had a problem with it generally. I came into unity and didn't have a problem with that language. I was introduced to the concept of God being divine mind as Charles Fillmore used the term instead of God to try and bring us away from thinking of God as he and masculine, um, shifting the way we view and experience God, using language to help do that. And that was a new idea for me and one that I could get my head around that God is divine mind. And through my mind, I tap into that energy of God and experience the releasing of the Christ energy through me and as me. But if you take Daily Word today or you read any of the new unity material that's being sent out, you will see that language is changing and it's moving away from God as masculine and into a sense of oneness and using words to describe God as pure being, all that is. So we are changing the language in unity. We're moving into the 21st century and using language in a different way. One of the other things that I love about the language changing is that where once unity described metaphysics as the way we interpret uh, our experiences and how we dive into a deeper God experience, Thanks to Paul Hasselbeck, Unity Minister and author, we now use the term heart-centered metaphysics because in my language, I am taking the journey from my mind to my heart. And everything that I practice and do in Unity is about that journey. And a journey is an experience. It's not just traveling somewhere, it's a, a whole body, mind, heart experience. So we're taking that journey from just thinking about God as an idea or these metaphysics as ideas and experiencing them, body, mind, heart experience. Because to me, unity is very heart-centered. It is encouraging us to feel the experience of God. It's the way I use my language. It is my journey from the head to the heart. And if you have any experience of the HeartMath Institute out of the US, they've done many experiments where they wire up, um, if you like, the brain and the heart to a, to a computer that is showing images, um, some positive and happy, some sad, some scary, and, and watching the responses that come from the mind and the heart. And not only did the heart respond first before the mind, the heart often responded even before the visual image was seen by the eyes and the mind. The heart responds first, the mind follows. It's about engaging into the heart. So, Really what I'm encouraging with this little video blog is to know that you are more than you are thinking, than you're thinking. You are more than you're thinking. We are first and foremost feelings, vibrations. And as we tap into the heart energy and the unity language today is inviting us to do this all the time. As we do that, we know that it's not our thinking that defines us. We are so much more than our thinking. We are of the heart. We are vibrational beings. So whenever you find your thinking start caught up here, breathe, come back into the body, feel into the heart, take the language that unity is sharing today and to know that it is our heart energy that sets us free. I invite you to join me on this journey. Thank you.